I tightened it up really tight. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. My name is Patricia Marie Butt. Hi, and Patricia. Hi. I'm going to read some haikus that I wrote. Um, I challenged myself about, oh, I don't know, 200 odd days ago to write a haiku a day, and I've got about 227 written so far. My goal is to create a haiku a day calendar, you know, one of those flip pages. So these are the haikus that I've written that were inspired by different forms of art. The first one is inspired by two Japanese wooden statues of a grandfather and a grandmother. Grandfather, mother, bent over, stooped shoulders as loving years decay. The next haiku, they're actually short, okay? <laughs> this next haiku is, was inspired by the most wonderful picture. They painted an image of a man and a woman kissing and their faces forming into a union. And they, it was just gorgeous. So this is the haiku I wrote for that picture. Loving lines embrace, union of heart envelops to becoming one. Now I scanned around the room before reading this one to make sure there were no children taking heed to Michelle's warning. This is a five haiku stanza poem that was inspired by a Van Gogh painting. Honestly, I don't know the name of the painting, some of you might. It's a beautiful golden haired woman in a field. And when I looked at the picture and I started seeing in the landscape images that looked a lot like ears and then at one point, yeah and at one one really bizarre looking plant that looked like a bit of a very small phallic symbol I started thinking I wonder if this is the she who got the ear in the mail. So it's a five haiku stand five haiku stands of poem. Maiden's golden hair Rippling fire, blazing trees, pinwheel flowers spin. His face in his brush, Van Gogh admires from afar, the world all aflame. Rapid yet languid, each slashing harsh stroke reveals broken heart movement. Tender yet calloused, breasts droop. Ripple, cream face, soft, lacking expression. Ears pollute landscape. Phallic symbol, small below her countenance's gates. <laughs> this next one was inspired by a sculpture, a stone sculpture um, in the uh, possibly a park, or well, most likely a park, in a wilderness type park. And this old man bending over, his face and hands, his whole body stretching into a stream. It was quite phenomenal. Old man withered stone, statically for facial hair, body bold, bow forlorn, eternally bent with form both earth and water. Sufferance for life. Now, if you haven't guessed because we have the same last name, the gentleman who played before is my husband, Simon Bud. And there's an artist in Fort McMurray who painted some incredibly beautiful pictures images of Simon, as well as another painting which was inspired by one of his songs. This is a, a painting that she did of Simon, in which he is sitting on a rock with his shoulders sort of stooped over, and behind him is a guitar that's literally his back. 
golden waves of blue embracing strum vibration, open, closing the soul. And this is the same painting. Orange blurs into blue. Simon bending head in hand, emotional pool. And the last haiku was the paint. It was inspired by the painting she painted, which was inspired by one of his songs on his instrumental CD. The song. The Wait Is Over, the same song that was nominated for Best Solo Guitar Song at an international award, which was really nice. She drew a picture of a little girl in a pink dress running in a field and racing home to be with her father. Pink dress flutters free, red strands blown back by love wind running home to you.